Smithville Board of Aldermen meeting is now called to order. Please stand and join Alderman Chevalier in the pledge. Thank you. First item on the agenda is the consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Here. I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, we do have a public comment. Ms. Scott is here uh, for the item on the consent agenda. You know the drill. You've been here a few times. Three minutes and name and address for the record. And thanks for coming. Constance Scott, 308 Killarney Lane. I just want to take the time to thank the natural natural neighborhood beautification grant committee for their energy and effort and review of the applications for all the HOAs in Smithville and providing the ability to continue improvements throughout the community for all people to use. Thank you all. Have a great night. Thank you. I like the uh, project you guys are working on and the ones you did last year as well. Um, I also, since this is one of his last meetings, I want to thank Alderman Chevalier. Uh, he and I threw this out at the board retreat last year, and uh, this is our second year doing these grants, right? So, yeah. And it came from uh, his subdivision wanting to do some work, and now we've got four or five that have done projects, so it's awesome. Um, any other comments? All those in favor of approving the consent agenda, say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. Alderman Shipley. I abstain due to the fact that I'm on the Main Street Board. Thank you. Next item on the agenda are the committee reports. The first one is, because we haven't met for a month, planning and zoning, Alderman Chevalier. I don't have any notes written down, but um, it was a pretty uneventful. Um, we had a, the, probably the shortest planning and yeah, zoning in my modern history. We just had uh, the, one item the one and- the, uh, Storage, storage expansion. Yep. yep. Jack, any more building permits come in since uh, in the last couple of weeks? Total of seven now. Okay. Single family. It's it's building season and we're not even in double digits yet. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Parks and Rec Committee, Alderman Hartman. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. So the Alderman, um, the, the Parks and Rec Committee met and we were um, discussing um, a little bit more on the way finder signage, as well as uh, we were discussing some um, potential items that will appear in our work session uh, in the future. Thank you. And uh, EDC, Alder Mackins. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Economical, uh, Economic Development Committee did meet on March 28th uh, through the Chamber of Commerce. There is a new Chamber website that was released on March 1st. She's asking if everybody would take a peek at it because they're very proud of it. On 4-8, the annual Easter hunt, Easter egg hunt is going to happen. And, and currently, um, the chamber is getting ready to set out a new podcast. Details will be coming soon. On the staff report, 4-8 is the e-waste shredding at the high school. Um, and there's two openings on the EDC board at this time. Some of the short-term goal and planning was Gina's going to generate uh, and distribute a matrix to all the individual goals of the city strategic plan given to all the EDC board members, giving them a chance to mark down what's done, what's in progress, what needs to be done, low-hanging fruit. And, and with that matrix, the board can assess the priorities and goals and divide them up to start the process of accomplishing them. Uh, information was shared about the possibility of, of 3D housing in Smithville, as well as agri-hood developments which was uh, where neighborhoods are centered around small field where co-op food programs are utilized. And that was it, sir. Thank you. Uh, speaking of the Easter egg hunt, Erica was going to share that there was a, a sale on Easter eggs on Amazon. Uh, I think they're at about 10,000 eggs right now. I ordered another 2,000. I think she's going to order a few more. So we're trying to get it to beat that biggest Easter egg hunt in the Northland thing. So if you want to buy some eggs, they're like hundred. I think it was like 89 bucks for 2,000 eggs. So those are out there. 
Next item on the agenda is the city administrator's report. Ms. Wagner, do you have anything to add to your report? Um, I will call to your attention a couple of items on the report and um, uh, was going to add one additional item. The first item on the report with regard to the release of water at um, the lake, as noted in the report, we were advised last weekend, uh, a week ago, that because of rainfall that, that we had received, the Corps needed to release water. Because we are pulling uh, out as part of the project at the raw water pump station, um, we the release affected, potentially could have affected our water. Um, we have, because of where they pull, um, when they release water, uh, some of it is at the bottom of the lake, which is the more murky and more difficult to treat and diff different issues. The Corps has worked well with us in doing a combination of trying to pull from the top and bottom of the lake to get a good combination of water there. Because of concerns, staff has been testing the water hourly, and we have had no concerns or issues with water quality. Uh, the Corps has advised that they hope to be able to stop the release midweek this week, so we feel like we're making it through that process well. Chuck, did I explain that well enough? Yeah. Yay. All right. So we should see an, an end to that very soon. Related to, but not included in the city administrator's report, um, the Clay County Parks and Recreation obtains water from the city of Smithville, and they have been working to identify a pretty sizable lake, excuse me, pretty sizable leak under the lake for the last several weeks. Uh, in addition, last week, they uh, found another leak in a service line to Parks and Recreation. Off of that service line, the Lytton Center, Smith's Fork Park Campground, and Parks and Recreation uh, offices have lines. Last Friday, Saturday through yesterday, we did not have service or had minimal service. The campground reservations opened on Friday with camp season starting on Saturday. We had a total of five campers that Matt and staff were able to contact and we canceled their reservations, provided them a refund. They'll reschedule those visits. We actually, and Matt and I haven't had a chance to talk this afternoon. We had campers coming in. Go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, we, we had campers that were planning to come in this afternoon and they have, so. Uh, the repairs have been made by Clay County to that line. You will see in the CIP uh, for the utilities budget in future year, future years, probably 24, is um, replacement of that line that would take us. The line is quite old, uh, but we need to ensure that we have our own service line. The existing line that we were using predates all of the most of the staff that have been involved in this, so we want to make those repairs. Uh, there is one typo. I'm sure there are others, but the one noticed and called to my attention with regard to the um, 2022 Household Hazardous Waste um, Collection mobile event is August 19th rather than 17th. So we got a little time to, to fix that. Um, we'll call your attention to um, items upcoming in the work sessions and um, continue meeting schedules. Of course, today's meeting moved July and August meetings. So with that. I believe that's the information I have. And I know he's listening, so I'll say thanks, Charlie, for pointing out that the 17th was a Thursday. So we went and dug into that. Uh, and it sounds like we're getting fresh water into the lake, so then it's just coming back out the other end. So that leak is getting recycled back through. So it's fun stuff. Matt, you've had an adventurous couple of days. We lost flags. We lost stuff blown everywhere. It's been, it's been fun. Um, Next item on the agenda is number six, bill number 2982-23. Alderman Hewlett all. Motion to approve bill number 2982-23, condemnation of property, second reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Hartman. Alderman Russell? Aye. Alderman Ulidal? Alderman Atkins? Aye. Alderman Chevalier? Aye. 
Alderman Shipley. Aye. Six zero. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. I am going to have to apologize. I can't access the internet right now to pull up and I don't have a hard copy of the ordinance. There you go. Thank you. Oh, you no, go. I need the actual one. An ordinance authorizing condemnation of certain lands for the purpose of constructing and maintaining a sewer line. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number eight. Alderman Neelidal. Motion to approve bill number 2984-23, fiscal year 2023, budget amendment number three, emergency ordinance sponsored by Mayor Bully. First and second reading. Uh, first reading only. First reading. All right. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Chevalier. Alderman Shipley. Alderman Hartman. Alderman Russell. Aye. Alderman Ulidal. Aye. Alderman Atkins. 6 0. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance amending the fiscal year 2023 operating budget to add $100,000 to the expenditure budget. Thank you. Same item, second reading. Alderman Ulidal. Motion to approve bill number 2984-23, fiscal year 2023, budget amendment number three, emergency ordinance, sponsored by Mayor Bully, second reading. Thank you, do I have a second? Thank you, any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Shipley. Alderman Hartman. Aye. Alderman Russell. Aye. Alderman Ulidal. Aye. Alderman Atkins. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. 6-0. And carries Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance amending the fiscal year 2023 operating budget to add $100,000 to the expenditure budget. Thank you. We'll need your computer for the next five. Unless you just. Next item on the agenda is number nine. Alderman you all. Motion to approve bill number 2985-23, condemnation of property, first reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, clerk, please call roll. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Shipley. Aye. Alderman Russell. Aye. Alderman Hartman. Aye. Alderman Ulidal. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Six zero. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, are you able to read the bill? Um, it's very small print. An ordinance authorizing condemnation of certain lands for the purpose of constructing and maintaining a sewer line. Thank you. Matt's back with your computer. It's not. There's okay. something going on. So. Next item on I the agenda is number 10. Alderman Ulidal. Motion to approve bill number 2986-23. TAP grant for Second Creek Sidewalk, first reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Thank you. Any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Shipley? Aye. Alderman Atkins? Aye. Alderman Chevalier? Alderman Ulidal? Aye. Alderman Russell? No. Alderman Hartman. Aye. Five one. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor to execute a transportation alternatives funding program agreement with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission for pedestrian improvements on Second Creek. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number eleven. Alderman Ulidal. Motion to approve bill number twenty nine eighty seven dash twenty three STGB grant. For Bridge Street Roundabout, first reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, clerk, please call roll. Alderman Hartman? Aye. Alderman Chevalier? Aye. Alderman Shipley? Aye. Alderman Atkins? Aye. Alderman Ulidal? Aye. Alderman Russell? Aye. Six zero. 
Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor to execute a surface transportation block grant program agreement with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission for Bridge Street Roundabout. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number 12. Alderman Ulidal. Motion to approve bill number 2988-23, TAP grant for improvement to Riverwalk Park. First reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, clerk, please call roll. Alderman Ulidal? Aye. Alderman Atkins? Aye. Alderman Shipley? Aye. Alderman Chevalier? Aye. Alderman Russell? Aye. Alderman Hartman? Aye. Six zero. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor to execute a transportation alternatives funds program agreement with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission for Riverwalk Park. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number 13. Alderman Ulidal. Motion to approve bill number 2989-23, condemnation of property. First reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Russell. Alderman Ulidal. Aye. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Hartman. Alderman Shipley? Aye. Alderman Chevalier? Aye. 6-0. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance authorizing condemnation of certain lands for the purpose of constructing and maintaining a sewer line. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number 14. Alderman Ulidal. Motion to approve resolution 1205, expenditure to Mid-America Regional Council. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 1205 say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 15. Alderman Ulidal. To approve resolution 1206, city administrator's employment contract. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 1206 say aye. 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 Say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 16, Alderman Ulidal. Motion to approve resolution 1207, change order for Winter Road. You do have a second. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 1207 say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 17, Alderman Ulidal. Motion to approve resolution 1208, authorization number 99, water plant maintenance program. Thank you. Do I have a second? Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 1208 say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 18. Alderman Neal et al. Motion to approve resolution 1209 site plan amend amendment, KCI RV storage. Thank you. Do I have a second? Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 1209 say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 19, Alderman Neal Motion to approve resolution 1210, final plat, Herzog Foundation, second plat. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 1210, say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 20, Alderman Neal Motion to approve resolution. 1211 agreement with the Corps of Engineers. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Favor approving resolution 1211, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 21. Alderman Neal et al. Motion to approve resolution 1212, awarding bid number 23 06, street maintenance program. Thank you. I have a second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 1212 say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is public comment. First person on the public comment list is Mr. Owens. You know, you've been here a few times, but just a reminder, state your name and address for the record, and you have three minutes. If you need additional time, please let me know in advance. 
Okay, I'm Glenn Owen. I live at 804 East Summit, Smithville, Missouri. Uh, my comments would be about uh, Dundee. Uh, Dundee is only curved about one third of the way up the street. Two thirds of it is not done. It's a lot of, um, it needs repaired. It needs to be curbed. It needs um, cut down a little bit and it just in serious need of repair. I would encourage anybody to go up there, drive through there and, and look at the place. So it's in serious need of repair. Thank you. Thank you. Chuck leave. No. You back there. Have you talked to Chuck on our sidewalk repair program? I, I drive that road almost every day, so I'm very well aware of it. But have any of the residents over there contacted us on the sidewalk repair program? Is there any sidewalk over there? Huh? There's no sidewalks over there. Is there? There's no sidewalks at all there. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, because that might be just letting the property owners know the program's available. Because they don't have them, like you said, it's pretty narrow too. So yeah, that not a lot of front yards. Front yards are pretty small too. Yeah. So okay, thank you. Yep. Uh, Don. Um, state your name and address for the record, and you have three minutes. Three minutes. If you need additional time, please let me know. All right. My name is Don Ruffett. I live at one hundred four Owens Avenue, Smithville, Missouri. I am here regarding the flooding of the backyard. I have a backyard that I have no use. I can't use it for anything. I can't landscape. I can't garden. I have a shed I can't use. I've got pictures, but they didn't get printed off and brought. I can drop those off. But we have no use of our backyard. I've had to pay money to have my front porch raised because of all the erosion under my home, because of all the water. So we just need to fix something on Owens. There's four of us on that street. All my neighbors, we all have the same issues. And it's horrible. My, it's gone halfway up my shed in my backyard. And I raised my shed like six or um, four feet. Before I moved in, we made a platform. That's so. the shed that backs up to like the creek there? Yes. Okay. And now, so you don't, I the power pole that's there, it was behind my fence. It's now on the other side because it moved so far that they finally had to move it to the other side of the, the creek. So we just need to do something so we can enjoy our backyards like everybody else does. Thank you. Thank you. Chuck, did they have that one for the stormwater? Okay. 104 Owens Avenue, not street. <laughs> okay. Hello? Alderman Atkins. I believe when we were talking about their project, they thought at the time it was maybe a clogged drain just under 169. I think Chuck can follow up on that for us. Yeah, if you can get that for us for the next meeting, that'd be great. Thank you. Uh, that's it. any other public comment, Linda? No. Any new business for the floor? Yeah, Mayor, that's a new business. Thank you. Um, just uh, this might have been earlier in the comment section, but uh, uh, concerning last meeting, I used the uh, phrase quid pro quo, uh, which basically means get something for something. And for that, I apologize to the board and to uh, the rest of the constituents. Thank you. Any other new business? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. I have a second. Second. Thank you. <laughs> All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. Stand adjourned. Josh, say no.